Hey, welcome back. So, let's continue on our uh, adventure to Mr. Pokemon. Um, yeah. Nothing too special here. Go on around. You have a little grass. Watch out for pine codes. They can be rather annoying because the only move they know is protect. And you know, although it doesn't have the same priority as it did in as it does in later generations, it's still pretty pretty annoying. Now, ah, oh, napalm. I'm I'm trying to go over here. Get a poison cure berry this way. Now, if you go on up here, you'll find out... Oh, you may have been wondering where those two trainers that were battling were. There they are. That's the way to make progress, so... Uh, go ahead and talk here to this guy. He'll give you a berry, just like before. Then you can go on back. This lady does not fight you. Stop missing, please. Yeah, you, you can tell that this might annoy me, but... It's all good. Uh, let's see, there's another berry tree right here. You can get a berry. Berries are pretty useful. So go on in here. This is Mr. Pokemon's house, and the dialogue is exactly the same as before. So let's just skip that. Well, now that that's over, head on out and you'll get a call from Professor Elm. Hello? H hello, Salt? It's a disaster. Yeah. Well, you know what's happened, right? Some dude just jacked Professor Elm's second Pikachu. We're not going to let that stand. So, uh, as soon as we, uh... Oh yeah, this is... This is why I suggest giving either Struggle or Double Kick, preferably Double Kick, for your Pikachu. Because the second Pikachu has been stolen, and as you know, electric types do resist each other, so... Trying to Thundershock spam that thing will not do much. I'm also going in fairly underleveled. That po that Pikachu you're about to face is level 12. It's gonna hurt you. It also knows Quick Attack, so beware. Um, well, you'll find out what I mean. Ha, Spinny. Okay, so if you haven't, now is a great time to go to the Mart. And, uh, I also highly recommend you attach one of those berries that you have to your Pikachu. Because you will not regret it. So once you're healed up and ready to go, begin to exit the town. Bam! There he is. That's a different sprite, isn't it? I can't tell what kind of sprite it imitates or if it's just a custom. Anyway, same dialogue as before. So now this mystery man will charge up, call you a wimp, and challenge you to a Pokemon battle. And as you can see, there's his Pikachu. Check it out, level 12, like I said. So you want to be real careful here, especially if you're underleveled like me. Now what I should have done is, I should have removed Tail Whip and not Growl for Double Kick, because optimally you would want to, uh, you would rather lower this po your, the opponent Pikachu's attack rather than his defense. But, it's all up to you. So yeah, he has Quick Attack, this could be pretty dangerous. See that? That's two Tail Whips. I've halved his defense and that's all my Double Kicks will do. So that's where- here's where that Berry kicks in. Useful, right? Anyway, he'll just keep spamming that Quick Attack until he gets a critical or something. I'm gonna- I know this is gonna bring me exactly to zero, so... I'm gonna use a Potion here. I don't wanna lose. <laughs> really, seriously, come on. Losing to the first battle with your rival? That's kind of sad. Anyone, one more Tail Whip for a good measure. I'll end up having to use a potion again, but it'll be okay. That's why I bought five, or four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah! Um, I was pretty dumb and I didn't do it, but... Note that you can use Thunder Wave to paralyze this Pikachu and slow it down. Remember that it won't have any effect on Quick Attack unless your Pikachu also knows Quick Attack. But it's pretty nice when you get Parahacks. So anyway, blah blah blah, he's gonna be the best trainer. Oh, more coding error. Yeah, you'll get pushed onto that roof if you're coming in from the bottom. Alright, so with that finished, go on and walk back to New Bark Town.
Alright, so once you get back to New Bark Town, head straight for Elm's Lab and you'll encounter this guy, the policeman. Blah blah blah. So now you get to name your rival. And as per my standard, let's -a go, Pepper. Anyway, little policeman will walk off, and I'm gonna see if this glitch still works. So, go ahead and show Elm the egg. Okay, it doesn't work in the original games, but if you've ever played Shiny Gold, a fire red ROM hack that imitates gold version, and you stand behind Elm while showing him the egg, he'll jump back into you. It's pretty funny. Anyway, blah blah blah, everything is all the same. Once he's done with his speech, the assistant will again encounter you, and he'll give you five Pokeballs. Now make sure you go and see your mom, because you'll have to do that before leaving. So head on inside, and... Where is she? There he is. She is. Go ahead and talk to her. So, yeah, leaving on a journey. Now, you have the option for having your mom save your money. I recommend you do it, because I kind of like it. I like that she'll save your money. You can withdraw it at any time. And in addition, she'll also go out and buy you things. Usually super potions or polka dolls, but, you know, they can be pretty nifty, right? So with that done, you're now ready to start catching your own Pokemon. So that's what I'm gonna do, but... I'm gonna do it in... Throttle! Yeah, Throttle, let's go! Oh, um, this is the script for the guy who shows you how to catch Pokemon. Yeah. You know that guy. Ignore him. Okay, first interesting Pokemon, Ghastly. It's cool, right? Anyway, I'm not really interested, so I'm gonna ignore. A Pokemon you'll want to consider catching here, uh, I'm gonna avoid the trainer for now, because I'm still kind of weak. Not a Kakuna, uh, Staryu. It's a pretty good, it's a fast water Pokemon, and, you know, you might enjoy it. And that was obviously too strong, so let's try again. And just because I have, you usually have bad luck catching normal Pokemon, I'm just going to Thunder Wave for safety. Now, I didn't get it last time, but that Mystic Water that I told you you can instantly get, you can give that to your star, you and it'll be pretty good. Note that, um, let's see, what else? Ghastly. There's one more Pokemon I wanted to get here, and I'll just keep cycling through until I find it. Come on. Come on. I know you're here somewhere. Don't hide from me. Oh, Abra. If you're interested in that kind of thing, go ahead. Oh, come on, why are you so hard to find? Wow, this is... Okay, time to pause until we find him. Not what I was looking for, but do be on the lookout for Psyducks. They're pretty rare. Okay, so it took me forever and a day to realize that the Pokemon, I'm look the Pokemon I'm looking for doesn't appear there. I'm looking for a Geodude, and you won't be able to find one until Rock Tunnel. So let's ignore that, and um, I'm going to see if I can uh, catch this Pidgey. Alright. I figured I'd give Pidgey some attention since I use a Fero in the Team Rocket Edition run. So let's go catch this Pidgey. Woohoo! No nicknames, because I forgot and I might as well just wait till I get to Goldenrod. Anyway, let's fast forward a bit again. Well anyway, once that mess is done and you get your Mystic Water, now you can go back to Route 30 and you can head on towards, not Violet City, but Azalea Town, which is actually the next town on the list. You'll find out why soon enough. So, anyway, I'm gonna head back. Oh, actually, I need to attach that Mystic Water to Staryu. Haven't given names yet. No, no, wrong. Wrong. Bad. Good Staryu. So. Wrong. Next time on, uh, Team Rocket Edition... Gosh, I'm so used to saying that. Next time on Pikachu Edition, we'll go past Route 30, through Dark Cave, and into Azalea Town. Yes, through Dark Cave and we don't have Flash. Alright, see you guys later!